Yesterday was about the fun. The Knowles retreated to some top golf, some mariachi music, the gift suite, and much, much more. Today, it's back to business as Florida State hit the practice fields in El Paso for the first time. Nolan insiders, Lane Hurt and Tim Lenefelt here with you. Tim, the bowl game is always about the balance of enjoying the moment, but also getting to be, getting down to work. Your thoughts on how the Knowles are handling things so far? I mean, it looked good to me. I just looking out at practice during the open portion we had there, we had about about half an hour between stretch and some of the first position periods. And uh, yeah, you can see guys uh, sort of look like they're ready to get back, and they've been away for a little while uh, with the holiday, and it's been a while since they've played a game. And so I look like there's some some energy, some spirit. It's a very different feeling practice. I mean, for one thing, we're out here at a high school in El Paso. It's a really nice field. It's a nice turf field, but it's only one field. Uh, and then uh, you know, there's just a lot of guys, a lot of personnel that's a lot different. You know, you have some players who are either injured and not playing, some guys who have declared for the draft and aren't playing. Uh, some of those position groups look a lot different than they did certainly back in August or September, but even as opposed to just a few weeks ago, uh, it's a lot different looking team out there. And then some, uh, some groups are kind of you know, having guys slide into maybe bigger roles for this game or, or making do with some smaller numbers, but everybody's making it work. I talked to a couple of the guys before practice, and I asked them about you know being back in a bowl game after a year away. And you could sense the appreciation in their voice of being being back. They weren't taking this experience for granted. Do you get the feeling that there is a kind of a team wide appreciation of being back in a bowl game? I think there is. And look, I mean, the fact of the matter is, uh, up until last year, nobody in a Florida State uniform had felt that experience before, and, and these guys now know. Uh, that they don't want to experience it again. You know, they all said, you know, we were a couple guys were asked about it uh, beforehand. Said, we, what were you doing this time last year? I was like, well, something else. You know, I was home with my family. I was doing something. And, you know, it's it's no fun. You know, sitting around watching bowl games, knowing that you should be in one and you're not. And so I think that has given these guys a, a much better appreciation uh, for what's in front of them. And then also, I mean, you know, there's some other things to be motivated by. Uh, you know, you have a winning season on the line. Florida State hasn't had back-to-back sub-500 seasons since the mid-70s. You've got your juniors, your seniors, uh, the players who are going to be playing in their last game, potentially. Uh, you want to send them out on a high note. And then Odell Hagens, of course. You know, We know Mike Norvell and his staff are here and, and are, are rapidly assembling. Uh, and we know that the, after this game, the, the, the keys to the kingdom will be his completely. But I think these players, given everything that Odell means to them and, and what he's done over the past few weeks to keep this season on track and even you know, make it to this game, make sure that it happened, I think they want to send him out as a, a winner in his last game as the interim coach as well. You, you mentioned some of those things that have happened, the, the chaos, the distractions, whatever you want to call them. Are you surprised or impressed with how well the, the team can kind of put things aside and get back to business? It's been kind of you know two years of, of distractions for this team, and yet they continue to persevere and push forward. Yeah, I think you're right. And, and I mean, in a weird way, you know, you, you, you kind of becomes normal, right? You know what I mean? I mean, these guys, especially the upperclassmen, they, they've been through a lot. Uh, and, and, a, and a lot of, of kind of ups and downs and, and really good times, but also times that uh, you wanted to move on from pretty quickly. And so I think you, know, you look at this as just an opportunity to kind of put a nice, uh, a nice I don't know, exclamation point is the word, but it's, it's definitely a positive note. It's a, you know, a major conference opponent, Arizona State, with a head coach that, you know, if you watch ESPN, people have heard of. I mean, it's a, it's a big opportunity. And this is a, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I, everything about the Sun Bowl so far to me has been really, really impressive. I mean, it's, it shouldn't be a surprise. It's the, uh, it's the second, lo- tied for the second longest running bowl in history. It's been around a long time. They know what they're doing here. And I think the players themselves were kind of surprised at, at just how, how good everything has been for them so far. Uh, once they got off that plane, it's, it's been nothing but positive experiences so far for them. I want you to put yourself in their shoes, and you can include something that they've already participated in, but what are you looking forward to if, if you're one of the players, one of the events? I know they're going to Fort Bliss with the, with the troops this afternoon. You know, there's there's a Western-style barbecue. There's Top Golf last night. What what are you looking forward to if you're one of those guys? Uh, there's rumors that the uh, at, at Fort Bliss there's like a tank simulator or something like that. I don't know. That sounds pretty awesome to me. I think that would probably be my choice. I think it's hard to go wrong with that. Anyways, much, much more happening here in El Paso for Florida State as they prepare for Arizona State in the Sun Bowl on December 31st. And we'll be right along with them getting all you want, all you want a ton of stuff on social media, a ton of stuff on Simmons.com. You don't want to miss a thing. We're going to wrap it up for now, though. For Tim, I'm Lane. Go Knowles.